This video is sponsored by Magellan TV. Crossing two MiG fighters with the most iconic World War II tank seems like a crazy idea for building a firefighting tank. But the Hungarian machine, better known as Big Wind, is one of the most impressive fire trucks ever made, both in size and power. This footage shows the innovative tank on its debut in 1991, saving the world from an environmental disaster. Mounting a MiG fighter jet engine on a tank might seem too outrageous to be true, if not for the fact that it was caught on tape. You can see even more unbelievable real-life footage in the Magellan TV documentary Caught on Camera, Firestarters. Watch incredible security camera footage as firefighters find themselves under siege. Check it out today and visit try.magellantv.com slash dark footage, or click the link in the description below to get a free one-month trial of Magellan TV. Magellan TV is a new type of streaming service that features over 2,000 premium documentaries. Access series such as Caught on Camera, which brings you police stories and the rare CCTV footage used to identify and respond to crimes as they happen. Enjoy streaming across your computer, TV, phone, and tablet with no ads and without interruptions. Support dark footage and check out Magellan TV with your one-month free trial. Click on the link in the description below or visit try.magellantv.com slash dark footage today. During the Cold War, nuclear, biological, and chemical weapons were seen as a significant threat. It was feared that contaminated fighting vehicles would become a hazard for their operators and for those in their path. This is how in 1991, a group of Hungarian engineers came up with the idea to design a new and innovative way to decontaminate old Cold War era tanks. They built this unique firefighting tank called either Big Wind or Windy. It's maintained by the Arab-owned Hungarian company MB Drilling and was built in the suburbs of Budapest. Years before, the Soviets had adopted the method of using a single MiG-15 jet engine on the bed of a truck to blow out gas and oil well fires. Based on this concept, the Hungarians took an old T-34 Soviet tank, which became famous after it participated in Operation Barbarossa in 1941. The tank was joined by two Soviet MiG-21 engines, and the ultimate water cannon was born. The big wind wasn't designed to extinguish common fires. As a matter of fact, it would probably cause more damage to a building than a fire would. Windy specializes in putting out oil well fires that would otherwise be impossible to control. When the two jet engines are fired up using a combination of water and air, the big wind churns out 220 gallons of water per second with its six nozzles. Windy's crew consists of a driver inside the tank to steer it and a controller in a cabin at the back of the platform who runs and directs the jets and engines. A fire director walks 15 feet away issuing orders to the two other members through remote control. It's undoubtedly a one-of-a-kind piece of machinery that, when called upon, is the only thing that can get the job done. The Big Wind's debut was in 1991, during the aftermath of the Gulf War. In February, the Iraqi army was on the run after having gutted and pillaged the small country of Kuwait. Before leaving, they made sure to set off explosives at the heads of over 700 Kuwait oil wells, which ignited oil geysers, sending giant flames up to 300 feet high. These deadly fires unleashed 5,000 tons of black smoke over the desert per day for over seven months, creating an apocalyptic dark cloud up to 800 miles long. The United Arab Nations, Iran, and even India could see the cloud of smoke disseminating across Kuwait as it darkened the skies and poisoned the rain. There were billions of gallons of oil beneath Kuwait, and about 4.6 million gallons of it was going up in flames every day. Apart from being an economic and social disaster, it was also an environmental catastrophe. Had the fires persisted for years, as they very well could have, the global climate would be severely altered, dropping temperatures all across the Northern Hemisphere. Expert firefighters worldwide traveled to Kuwait to try and save the flaming oil wells and prevent a worst case scenario. One of these crews included a team led by a famous oil firefighter, the Texan Red Adair. They used explosives to stop the fires in different ways. 
One tactic was to pack hundreds of explosives into a 55-gallon oil drum fused onto a long boom placed near the well. The explosion would then rob the blaze of all its oxygen, and the fire would go out. But nothing was putting out the fires faster than they were growing, until the Hungarians brought in their well-kept secret, the big wind. Windy was first planned to only be used for fires in Hungary, but when the Kuwaiti conflict erupted almost at the same time of its creation, the firefighting tank was flown on a C-130 cargo carrier to the blazing and dangerous oil fields. Three Hungarian firefighters were also flown with it to the Middle East. When Windy was rolled out of its transport plane, all the other international teams fighting the fires were in awe. No one had ever seen anything like the big wind. This footage shows the machine putting out these vast fires in mere seconds. Big Wind would approach a blazing wellhead, with its crew protected from the flames by the tank's armor. Then the jets would open up and launch an incredible stream of water and fire-suppressant chemicals. A team could then move in and seal the wellhead, and the Hungarian firefighters would move on to another fire. After only 43 days in Kuwait, the Hungarian crew had put out nine fires and recapped the wells by November. An environmental catastrophe that would have impacted the whole world had been averted. The big wind still powers on, putting out oil fires and clearing runways around the globe. It stands as a tribute to all the extraordinary varieties of ways that military technology can be utilized.